Santos are playing Sport Recife in the Brazilian league later today. So again, I can look up the relevant parameters from soccer stats. So go to Brazilian league, scored, conceded. If I click home, I can get the averages for the teams at home. Click away and I get for the away averages. So I just put them into my Poisson model. So the averages for Santos are 0 0.6 and 0 0.2. You can see here, home, Santos, 0 0.6 and 0 0.2. The league averages are 1.53 and 0.97. 1.53.97. So they're just the parameters that we need. We run the simulations and here's what we get. So it's not that clear that Santos are going to win since it's slightly more than half the time. On average we expect only one goal to be scored and the strongest statistic seems to be less than three goals. That's 91% of the time. On average, the home team scores nearly one goal, the away team basically zero. So a typical result would be 1-0. It doesn't mean it's going to be 1-0. But that's the picture that we get based on the averages. Now going back to OLBG, well, the, aver the odds are, aren't great for Santos. I mean, 1.5 assumes that's fair odds if Santos were to win nearly 70% or 66% of the time. The simulation doesn't think it's that high. So I wouldn't, based on the Poisson model, jump on Santos at, this, at these prices. Looking through these, both teams to score is double your money. Both teams to score are very rare. I mean, that's maybe 10% probability based on this simulation. So the idea of these tests is to see how accurate this model is. So this, according to the model, we don't expect both teams to score that often at all, while the betting markets are saying it should be 50-50. Now, I can see the reason for the conflict. If I look at soccer stats and I look at the over-under tables, we can see that Santos typically has very low scoring games. You know, I mean, they have not had a single game where there's been more than two goals or even two goals. The conflict is they're playing Sporting Recife or, or however that's pronounced and who are involved in high scoring games. So they tend to 75% of the time they have three or more goals. So that's the conflict. But that's what these models are there for. I mean, the Poisson model has been given the scoring rate for both teams and it should take that into account. The only way we know whether it does or not 
is by testing it. So the call is, well, to either back both teams not to score or to back less than three goals. Or maybe both. But there, that, that is the interesting space based on our based on the prices available and the results from our simulations for bonus points perhaps it's worth going for santos to win 1-0 because there's good there are good odds there um but the primary result or insight from the Poisson model is to go for few goals since the betting market's price for those is good so that you know we're getting properly compensated for the risk that we're taking on fingers crossed